So today I got to thinking about how we could find our passion. And there's a few things that I've used to, to find my passion over the years. Um, and one of them is, is I ask myself the question, you know, what could I wake up on a Monday morning and, and just I can't wait to get to do it? And that's where, that's where, you know, video games is, is my passion, or I'm very passionate about video games because no matter what, I will make time to, to play video games. And typically there, you know, I'm a very multiplayer person. I play with friends, um, but you know, I definitely can get into a groove of playing a single player game, but that's the that's the question you have to ask yourself is if it's Friday night or Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon and you're you know if you really thought about it what could you not wait to do on Monday you know people are like oh man I dread Monday you know I got to go back to work you know I got to get this done and or whatever, you know, your Monday, Monday's the busiest day of the week at work, typically, and, uh, you know, if, if you weren't doing, you know, your traditional job, or your traditional work, and you were doing your passion, like, whatever you're passionate about, whether that's art, or creating YouTube videos, or, or like me, like video games, or, you know, if, if it was, Maybe your job is your passion, you know, maybe, maybe you're one of the like, you know, top 0.001% people that actually gets to do what they love and get paid for it. You know, like I'd imagine if I was a, a professional sports player, like a basketball player, I'd imagine that, you know, my passion would be basketball, right? I've always played basketball. I was amazing at basketball. And thus, I, you know, became a professional athlete, a professional basketball player. You know, like, it's pretty easy to, to see those type of things. Or if, like, you're, you're, a, you're a pianist or, you know, like a professional piano player or you're, you're a, a musician of some sorts. Uh, typically, a musician is somebody who has a passion for playing that certain instrument, and they're so good at it, and they love to do it, and they get paid to do it. But that's the question that you have to ask yourself. If it's Monday morning, or you know, if it's Friday night, and you're like, "Man, I can't wait to get back to work on Monday," you know, and do this, that is your passion. You know, that's. If, if you're going to always make time to do whatever your passion is or whatever that thing is, that's, that's your passion. Like for me, I, I will make time. I will stay up late. I will lose sleep to play video games, typically with friends. If it's by myself, I have to be really into a game, really into a game story or like, you know, I'm just about to beat the level or get to the save point or whatever to lose sleep over it. But if I'm playing with friends and I understand that, you know, the boys might not be on tomorrow night, you know, so we got to make tonight count or like I'd imagine most people, you know, it's Friday night, it's Saturday night. We could stay up later, you know, because we don't have to work the next day or go to school the next day. So we're going to stay up late tonight and we're going to lose sleep over this and you know we're going to lose our morning because of this i'm also kind of like a night owl too i've always been a night owl um so it it doesn't bother me as much but you know when you got work or school the next day and you go into bed and you're losing a couple hours of sleep you know to to do whatever you want to do your passion i mean you're making time you're cutting time out of your day where you should be doing something else to make time for for that one thing that you're passionate about so that's that's like a one the the one question that i started with like what would you what can you not wait to do on monday you know if that was your job you're like man i can't wait to get back to work on monday and do this 
you know, then that's definitely an easy way to figure out what your passion is. I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, they're hazy on what they want to do with their life or, you know, they're hazy on what they actually like in life, you know. There's a lot of people that just, you know, they they come home from work or from school and they just scroll, you know, social media or or they they're sitting on just watching TV shows and then, you know, obviously they eat, you know, and they sleep and then they go back to school or work and then they come back and they do the same thing day in and day out. And I, I just, you know, like I think that there's always something that somebody wants to do, you know, like besides watching TV, you know, like I don't think you could really be passionate about watching TV. I think you could be, you know, passionate about creating content or, you know, TV shows or YouTube videos or whatever. I just, I think that there's, there's always something that somebody is willing to go that extra mile for or to lose sleep for, you know, I just, one of those things, one of those, you know, that question I was mentioning earlier, if you could answer that, which should be pretty simple. I'd imagine there's something everybody will lose, you know, can lose sleep over. And we're not going in in depth talking about like, are you, you know, do you have a passionate relationship or something like that? Like that's, that's totally different. We're talking about hobbies right now, or we're talking about like, you know, what do you absolutely love to do? What is your passion? And so, what what makes you stay up, you know, and burn the, the midnight oil, you know, and get stuff done towards that goal? And and like I said, for me, for me, it's video games. Uh, I mean, if I could if I could play video games for a living, I mean, that would be that would be the dream. I mean, I mean, you got to dream big, you know, if if that's your passion, then you got to you got to start making it a reality, you know, eventually you know, you might, you might end up doing your passion for a living, but you got to start somewhere. And so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, I could have started a long time ago. I mean, I've been playing games for a long time. Um, and you know, a variety of different games as the years pass, but, uh, let me know what, what your guys' you know, passions are, you know, I, it's kind of interesting just to see what people are like, super crazy about you know like what people love to do um definitely not everybody's the same you know some people like building computers you know and and like my uh both of my most recent computer builds were actually built from a friend uh he he told me it was you know it was i'm like i was like hey let me pay you you know like and he he helped me buy the parts uh, I said, I need a, I have a $2,000 budget, you know, and this is years ago. I was like, I have a $2,000 budget. What can I buy that's the best computer parts for $2,000 to put a whole computer together? And we went to a, back then it was Fry's Electronics when it was still around. And, uh, you know, he helped me pick out the parts that were, that were the best for my budget. And then he came back to my house, which was in the middle of nowhere uh, at that time. And uh, he was up until 2.30 in the morning building my computer and then making sure, you know, the operating system and everything came up and pretty much uh, left my house at like 3 in the morning, you know, and he wouldn't even take take my money or anything. He said, nah, it's like it's like building Legos for me. It's like solving a puzzle. I love to do it. So, I mean, I would argue that that is his passion, you know? I mean, he obviously, generous act he did for me, but the reality is, is that, I mean, he he loves to do that. He did that for two different computers for me, and I, I wanted to pay him, and he just will not take my money uh, just because he loves to do it. So, I almost think that, like, me buying a computer was like an opportunity for, you know, people don't just buy computers every day, you know, so it was almost like an opportunity for him to do something he was passionate about, like build a computer and, 
you know, connect everything and essentially build something from the ground up, you know, even if it wasn't his. So he didn't really have to front any of the money. He just, he, he had to put his time into it and you could tell that he, uh, you know, he did a great job. I mean, he loves, clearly loves doing what, what he did. And, uh, so that's, that's just another interesting, you know, passion, but let me know in the comments what, what you guys' passions are. I'm curious. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.